Welcome back everybody. It is time for another Glios toy review and O'Neill designs. Gosh dang it, you did it again. Wave 97. This is the EMD Wave, the Experimental Mechanized Division Part 2. So many cool colorways to talk about with this thing. It's ridiculous. The figures were awesome and there was a ton. They partnered up with Toyfinity to make some robots, to make some Mangalords. So you know I had a lot to buy because there were also herbivores. There were two Krayboos. There was lots of really really awesome figures this time around. And I, I'm addicted, I can't resist. So let's take a look at almost everything that O'Neill was providing for us this time around. Let's check out all those cool Glios figures. And if you enjoy checking out Glios with me, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, it helps the channel a lot, and stay tuned for more of this type of content. But yeah, I bought a lot from this wave. Uh, got doubles of a few different things and uh, Ah, there were just so many Kravos to pick from, but uh, man, oh man, I really want to talk about these colorways. We had some awesome, awesome colorways. We're going to look at some of the bonus extra parts that I got and go over exactly what to expect from the colors in this drop. Holy frick, that's a lot. So to touch on the colorway, I did end up getting a ton of extra parts for building and such. I found that these little stinking packs here of all these little joint parts and stuff have been... Yeah, very useful. I already have a bunch, but I uh, tripled up this time on quite a few of these. This one is the light warm gray, not quite white, not quite gray, right in between. And we also have the dark warm gray as well, kind of more of like a brownish gray, I would say. That's more accurate. I actually got like four of these. Holy crap. Then we got the Petragore green. This green is the little Mangalore green that we'll be seeing very soon here in the video, but this is a very nice solid color. So I got, I guess I got five of these. Holy cow. Yeah, I actually only ordered four of these so he threw in an extra one so thank you matt then we got one of the main colorways from the wave this is the emd orange a very sharp vibrant orange very similar to past colorways from previous waves i'm a big fan of this orange it just pops it's so cool and just I like the poppy color, so I got a bunch of those as well. Also in the EMD orange, we've got the little joint set. I only got one of these. I don't know if I regret that decision. I may want more in the future, but the nice little joint set. There were so many cool surprises in this wave. Lots of little stowaway items hidden here and there in different packages. It was a ton of fun to kind of discover. And uh, correct me if I was wrong on any of these, but I was not expecting a ton of these to be in the order I got, uh, as you'll see. My gosh, I am seeing lots of goodies in this package. So here's looks like a little bonus edition kind of thing. The, the, all these heads, all these cool heads. Some of them are painted eyes, some of them are not painted. A bunch of different options in here actually kind of more along the lines of the Synchroborg EMD. I don't know if this is supposed to come with the Synchroborg. It doesn't look like it because it's got its own headset. So this is like a kind of a stowaway headset, which is very cool. I thought it might have to go with this, which is the Synchro Armor EMD orange set thing, which has the big beefy armor set. It did have some heads in it, but yeah, again, they already have the heads included in here. So more extras, I am about it. And I'm still seeing some other ones too. I might pop this out later and put it on a figure, but for now you guys can check it out and see it it's just a little cowl and like shoulder pad or little skirt thing you can put on the figures so we will get to the stowaway cray booth for monel for this drop uh from what i'm seeing it looks pretty sick but it looks like we've got an actual stowaway faden because i did not order him i don't believe he was on the site just the plain emd orange i got a different faden that had some a little bit different unique outfits had like the warm the light warm gray and then it had some flashes of the orange and stuff but this is just straight up an orange emd orange fade in and that is really cool so i wasn't expecting that definitely wasn't on my order holy cow so we got some extra heads we got an extra fade in which is wild so there he is he looks pretty slick i can definitely decorate him up quite a bit that'll be fun to do but a nice looking simple fade in that is a, a really cool surprise actually man there was a lot in store for this wave if you were uh, ordering from the first drop if you ordered when it went live i guess i should say that's usually when all the goodies get uh, delivered to you i would say okay little extra fade in go up there on the shelf let's look at more that's one secret little fade in down let's look at the other one the commander 
So yeah, we're just gonna go straight into the next fade in that I was just talking about because look at this, there, there's the body. There is the body of the EMD orange blank version of the heads that we just got. So not only did we get a little stowaway fade in, not only did we get a little stowaway headset, we also got just a random like stowaway body. I don't believe this was supposed to be included, but it looks like they packaged all these guys with him which is awesome, that's crazy. So this is the EMD Orange Synchroborg body, which again, I don't think it was supposed to be in with this faded technically, so it's a little added bonus if you got this figure, I suppose. But look at that guy, look at this dude, he's so sick. The commander himself, I love the look of uh, the little vest here, when they put this vest on these guys, it just looks so, so nice. I love the nice little kind of skull white of the fade and head on this one. I think it looks really sharp. It's using, it's using most of the colorways from the drop. It's got the browns, the orange, and the white missing the green, but I don't think it needs it. This thing looks amazing. Really cool. I love the look of, I, I think it just sells it it's completely for me, the little vest thing, but it's even got some nice detailing on the chest as well. I mean, check that out, right? Nice little detailing, nice little vibe and look. He's got the white and orange on the eyes, little details on the shoulders. I gotta love these nice, nicely done fade-ins. I'm a fan. I don't pick up all the fade-ins typically, but when I see ones that really stand out like this, I usually will grab one. And I'm glad I did because we got that extra bonus piece. In fact, I'm pretty sure this piece as well is supposed to go to the Synchro Borg. I think this is like a bonus like blaster thing or something you can attach. Sticking with the little orange theme, let's go look at our little Borg of the Glios universe. So let's check out that Synchro Borg himself, the EMD Synchro Borg. He's got so many parts that's already included with this guy and we just got a ton of extra of that basic just emd orange so let's pull him out and take a look at this dude i love the look of these sinker borgs i have a ton of them still in bags that i want to open up and use for parts because i think the parts just look super cool all the little kind of puzzle maze patterns that go up and around his chest and shoulder pieces it just looks really cool very borg aesthetic it fits it perfectly, I think. And again, this is uh, this one's really sharp with just the highlights of the orange and the black. We can kind of do the comparison here a little bit so you can see it's just this without the paint job. That's about it. But you know, it's nice for the extra bonus pieces, but he looks really sharp. You also get an extra one of these nice little like vest things that our little Faden Commander is wearing. It's a slightly different. It's not quite as colorful. It's just got a little hinge of the brown on the backside here, but you can throw it on him. He always looks super nice with it attached onto him as well. And just head pieces galore. So many, so many cool head pieces. These guys look excellent. And we get all those nice little weapons, the ax, as you can see, the little blade, the hand blade, very nice. You know what, I'll put the uh, I'll put the cowl on this guy so you can kind of check out how that looks. Don't know if I have this on backwards or not, but you can see how it just kind of bulks out completely. The Synchro Borg, he looks so, sick with that thing on and you attach the rest of these things on them too and it's just going to be an amazing like beefed out figure you put the little like skirt thing on him and he just looks really really cool now we can get into some toyfinity stuff well, let's check out this little cube dude the minion the meon emd i don't know how you say that but since this was a toyfinity crossover with the mangalores and their robotic little bits and pieces they're very bulky kind of uh, blockish shapes that Toyfinity has on their robots. They have them in the O'Neill drop here with that nice orange. So let's piece him together really quick. He's just kind of like this boxy little robot. He's so tiny and dinky. You can see this is this is the look of the robot from the O'Neill site and everything. He's just a little square Minecrafty robot dude. Of course, a lot of these parts are more or less used for the spare parts for the building process of Glios, which is why I got these at least personally. I like the look of the robot, but I think I'd rather put like cool, you know, big backpacks on my figures or something, or just use these cool, like a chest plate here, something like that. Like there's a lot of options and things you can do with all these nice little Toyfinity parts. So that's our first little robot. We got more to come. This guy is pretty much entirely made out of limb parts. That's why he's called the Limboid in the EMD orange. Yo, it's my boy, the Limboid EMD robotic craziness. This guy looks super cool. 
very unique pieces and parts on this dude in my opinion lots of extra stuff too as you can see you got a bunch of nice like limb pieces thick little suckers this cool kind of circular part that i haven't really seen before but that's going to be used like i feel like that could be used pretty well nice little like arm cuff thing or even like some sort of neck attachment but here's the dude here's the limboid again this cute little kind of like robotic thing that more or less is going to be used for different parts for different figures you can you can see all the bulbous little pieces on this thing i can just picture it as different kind of muscle aspects on all sorts of different figures just kind of like it's emulating now on him but just put it on slap it on one of the fade -ins. you got a big buffed out fade in i think that would be amazing he is really cool though i, I dig his style i really do i might have to keep one as is for now until i need the parts because he does have just kind of like a just a derpy little look to him, but I like it. I did get two of those as well. So here's the other one. Definitely I'm gonna use one of these for some spare parts. I'll leave that one sealed though. You can join the company of your other robotic friends up there. Next up, we got the Gen Drone Validator EMD Robot. Another giant cool looking robot. Now this one has some parts I'm familiar with from a super cool armivore that I'm in love with back from an older wave. I finally picked it up a few months ago and I absolutely love it. So I know I can rebuild my armivore to make that cool figure. I got to build this one though. It does come with this nice extra head. This is a pretty cool one. I believe this one typically comes on the Sinkerborg dude typically, but here he is. This is the look of the guy. I thought he looked a little bit bulkier in the picture from uh, the Onel side, but <laughs> it's just a goofy little robotic goober. Again, lots of cool, big parts, blocky parts, good shoulder pads, good knee bits, stuff like that. Uh, that can make for really good useful parts so that's kind of what these guys are here for but i did again this is another one that i kind of just want to keep as is because he does look pretty simple and cool just for a robot dude honestly you can see it's got some of the joint the little swivel joint ones on him so i ended up getting extra of those even though i only ordered one uh extra bit piece from that but we get some extras anyways which is pretty cool because these have a lot of maneuverability for lots of different photos and you know, you could be doing the yay pose. Yay! Lots of different things with these legs, too. Like, oh my goodness, he could be kicking and gliding and shooting and swinging and you name it, dancing. He can just be balancing up here. Just kabang. Oh, his feet are perfect for that. All right, I'm going to keep him up here like this because I think that's just too goofy not to. Also did get two of those guys, so I'm just going to leave this one sealed for now, but it is the same thing. Oh, we did get a different headpiece in this one, actually. Wait, no, that's the... Oh yeah, I forgot that's a reverse side one. <laughs> Duh. All right, now we can talk about one of my favorite addictions, the Crayboot figures. And there were some really cool ones in this drop. Going into one of my faves, the Crayboot. Starting off with the EMD Orange Crayboot. The Assayer is his name. Let's take him out. Always get doubles of these because I love collecting these dudes. But how nice is that guy, right? Fantastic little Crayboot. I love the look of it. Again, this colorway with that kind of brown gray and the orange looks really really slick really slick nice uniformity on it this is a cool cray booth got to add it up to the shelf and collection and like i said i did get two of these suckers so i'm going to keep one sealed and one for the shelf there you go little buddy now i forget the name of this one but it is really really cool absolutely love it this one was like on the site but i missed it so i had to go back and grab it on a second order later but this it like didn't have a picture so i didn't really know what i was getting Honestly, I didn't know what the colorway was, and it is actually a slightly different colorway than what we were shown. So it was kind of like a little kind of surprise colorway cray booth. It's it's really nice. It's really nice. It, re it reminds me of uh, the Mangalore colorway. In fact, it's not. Let me grab them. It's not quite that, but you can. Oh uh, yeah, on the camera, this one definitely looks a little bit more red and whatnot. This one looks a little bit more dull, but. It kind of reminded me of that same kind of thing. Either way, a really nice one. I kind of like the little kind of fleshy pink look of it. It's got it's got a nice vibe to it. Kind of like this like nice little faded out cherry strawberry type thing. I can dig it. Up oh, there you go. And of course, I got a second one of that. Oh, was I gonna put my cray booths over here? I gotta put my cray booths on the little mountain thing I got over here. There we go. Screw it. I'm going to open this guy up. I'm going to stick him on the mountain with the cray booths. There we go. But now we can go into that stowaway cray booth. Again, this one kind of gives off Mangalore colorway vibes. Uh, so I don't know the exact name for this guy. This is 
Well, I guess he would just be whatever the, it's, it's in the color tone, the colorway of like the light warm gray, I guess. So, well, no, not quite either, man. Yeah, it's not quite in that tone either. I kind of thought it was, but it's not. It's kind of like more of a purple hue almost on it. So yeah, some really unique kind of off colorways that we were not expecting from these kind of little bonus parts, which again, I'm about it. He looks pretty clean. He looks pretty cool. I like. It's just like a faded kind of brownish purple, but... There you go, there's our nice stowaway cray booth from this most recent drop. Let's get him on the mountain. The mutant mayhem is upon us. Let's check out this excellent green colorway with some excellent figures. The mean monster green machine, the, I don't know how you ever say his name, the Petragor, Kaisgazir, whatever. There are so many parts loaded into this dude. You gotta get your claw hand and arm piece, you know, that one's just fantastic. A must have in the recent Goliath community and the grabby claw that can actually grab your figures oh that's why it's so stuffed because it did include the head for what normally would be like the little mutant dude i guess so that's cool that you actually get the head included in this one sometimes he had it where he had to buy the figure separately and then you had to like buy the extra attachments and kind of build this one out now unfortunately the arm the little right arm here wants to pop out quite easily so Let's see if I can secure that some way. Now, I should be able to make him a little bit taller. There's some extensions in the bag here for his legs. It'll boost him up a little bit, but there is the figure himself looking awesome. I mean, the colorway on it looks really sharp too. I mean, it's not quite the orange or any of the tones, but the green is. The brown we didn't see anywhere else, but this is really cool. And of course, you know, we can swap these arms pretty easily with our Mangalores, which we will get out very soon. Probably leave it for the end because those guys are hot right now in the Glyos world. This guy is pretty sick. We got that bulbous mutant arm, the claw that can grab your little cray booths or whatever you want, really. It can grab the, the Fadens even. We got the reverse of the head here too. Very nice. I can never decide which one I like more, honestly. I'm just not sure which one do you guys prefer i'm a fan of this colorway like i said this green is a really nice looking green and it's got a nice like kind of more realistic earthy tone to it which i'm all about that kind of like adds some cool kind of less poppy effect on your toy which kind of breathes some extra life into them sometimes bang 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 oh yeah these guys <laughs> they're so ridiculous with their giant arms it's awesome all right where are you gonna go you're gonna go down here there you go looking cool I'm not adding the leg extensions on, you know, I'm just not going to do it. But we do get the little extra, gosh, I can't remember the mutant hand thing. And then we also get his just his regular hand. I know I say I love the Cray Booths, but I also love my Armivores. You can see I got a whole shelf full over here. So that's what we're checking out today because they have a really cool EMD orange one. Oh, is it time? It's time for the Armivore, the EMD orange Armivore. Let me get them out. Let me get them out. Come on. Give it to me. Oh, look at this. Look at how cool he looks. We get the cool wolf head and we get the not typical like wolf robotic armor head. We actually get the other version, which I forget what that one's called. But there he is. Look how sharp it is, man. I, lo I love it. And the wolf head actually looks fire with that nice light warm gray or whatever you want to call it but it's really, really nice. Such a nice looking figure on this one. And the orange, man, I saw the orange armor for, I'm like, I'm in, I'm gonna be buying. I'm gonna be buying quite a bit in this one. Take a closer look at that face and that nice detail. I think it looks excellent. Now I'm, I'm imagining taking the shoulders off or his arms and then using the nice Toyfinity robot parts beefing this bad boy up and making a super awesome figure. So stay tuned on the Instagram. Here's the Instagram. Follow me there. I do a lot of toy photography on that. It's a secondary hobby of mine, so make sure to go follow me there and stay tuned for all the cool shots from this wave. You do get the gun and you do get the head, but you know I got myself two of these guys, so we're gonna showcase that other head on this figure. There it is, bang, look at how sick. I love this helmet design, I really do. I like the classic, you know, robot head, but this one is slick, very, very slick. We got the reverse side too, which is also pretty epic. I love the little black visor on this. Let's get a little closer view of it there. Bang, just rocking the gun out, ready to go, ready to take on 
any of the Glios verse. These guys are so cool, man. Is this head popping off? Oh, it's popping off. There we go. Check it out. Oh, nice detail on the eye right underneath. Never noticed that before, actually, but that is sick. Kind of love the little skull head design. It's kind of got like the fade in mouth thing going on there. Fantastic. I love my armivores. They're awesome. It's that time to check out the Mangalord himself from Wave 97. This guy looks amazing. And last but not least, we've got the Mangalore himself, the little Mangalord. Mangalord Petragor, as it would be the colorway name. So let's crack open this epic green guy. I'm dropping so many pieces. Ah, man, I'm absolutely in love with these dudes. They look so cool. Come on, this guy stands loud and tall. Ah, oh, he's so cool. Again, the colorway, the green, that kind of light brown looks excellent. Uh, I love the addition that I've just created with these Mangalore dudes. They're amazing. Let's actually, you know what? I got to pop off the arm and put on his other arm because I love the claw arm. There it is. Oh yeah. You can't beat that. This monster arm, dude. It's so wicked. Give him the armivore skull to carry. Oh, that fits way too perfectly. Come on. How intimidating is that? Oops. Sorry. Killed your armivore. My bad. Let's get a little closer on the detail of this guy. One of the most most epically detailed figures uh, and pieces on a Glyos figure. I mean, come on, the calves, the calves are amazing. They're a little flipped and backwards right now, but there we go. And let's flip around the head too, because this head is amazing, but he's also got another banger head. Look at that, ooh, in that nice light brown as well, shining with that kind of glowy orange in there. Very cool. Let's get the intimidation factor going here. There it is. Very nice. Just an excellent piece of craftsmanship from Toyfinity. And now everybody's getting on the Mangalore train. And uh, yeah, I'm about that life. Bang. Look at how just, just standing there. He looks epic. I'm going to keep the armivore head on him, you know? He can be petting the armivore here. And of course, you know I got two of those Mangalords because why freaking not? I love the colorway of this and... I would love to get some pieces from some extra Mangalords on some of my other figures, but the problem is I just love the look of these guys so much, I just leave them as is. And I only ever get like one of each of these dudes because they're that hard to get your hands on, they sell out instantly. But Onel must have made a crap ton because they did not sell out instantly of the Mangalord actually, so that was pretty surprising, which is why I snatched the second. I mean, what an absolute ridiculous drop this was. This was so fun, so cool. Uh, I definitely got way too many from this drop but uh kind of don't regret it because they all look amazing but make sure you go to onell's site right up here go check out the store see what's left grab yourself a mangalord or whatever's left in the shop go support this was again an incredible drop there are just pulling out some amazing stops right now in the glass world from a ton of different people we just had the stoneham line we just had the awesome biomaster drop toyfinity stuff has just been insane which actually i'm getting in the new toyfinity mangalord uh proto lord coming in like in a week here so that's going to be excellent to look at stay tuned for that on the channel but go support onel go buy some galios get into this thing it is addicting as hell and so much fun that's going to do it for the video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to once again leave a like and subscribe for more Glios content. It really helps the channel out. Go support Onel. Go support these Glios creators that have been coming out with some truly amazing products as of late. We're seeing a big resurgence with the Glios community, so it's the perfect time to come aboard and check out all the amazing stuff they're creating. As of filming this today, God Beast is coming out with a new wave, so you can look for that coming up in the future too. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video.